In the 31st episode of the ASAP Tech News, we talk about the latest NVIDIA GeForce drivers, the new Fantex all-in-one liquid CPU cooler, EK Waterblocks launching a new graphics cards waterblock, and N60 announces the N7 Z590 motherboard. We start with NVIDIA and their latest GeForce drivers, the 466.63 WHQL. This driver adds support for the RTX 3080 Ti graphics cards, which was just recently launched. Other features of this driver include added optimization for the game No Man's Sky. This is a DLSS update. Other games which benefit from optimizations with this update include Shivarly 2, and Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts 2. In addition, Escape from Tarkov and War Thunder get the NVIDIA Reflex integrations. In terms of the fixes, this driver has some, starting with a VR issue which caused a total freeze of the system if the graphics card is connected to a 4K UHD TV. Another fix is for the RTX 20 series and the GTX 16 and 10 series. The issue was that 4K at 120Hz display mode was not available to be selected. Well, now it is. There are also plenty of issues, starting with color issues if the freestyle filter is used with HDR. Specific HDMI displays might show some flickering in HDR mode and some others. As per usual, yours truly has already installed this driver and nothing has changed. No performance gains, but also no issues as of yet. We continue with Fantex and the new all-in-one liquid CPU cooler, the Glacier 1 360 MPH. This cooler is an all-white model, which offers plenty of RGB LEDs not only on the fans but also on the CPU water block. The fans used with this cooler are the Fantex MP models, which can spin up to 2200 RPM. Other features of the Glacier 1 360 MPH include an infinity mirror placed on the center of the CPU block, which is also addressable RGB illuminated, and the Halos DRGB fan frames, which are in fact the RGB elements that illuminate the fans. The Fantex MP fans are actually not really illuminating themselves, but they are illuminated by these fan frames. The included Fantex tube clips hold the two tubes at a fixed distance from one another, and also help maintain a good curvature of the loop of the cooler. Obviously, by the looks of it, this CPU cooler is based on the latest Assetex systems, and there is nothing wrong with that, but we shall see how the cooling performance stands out, if it does at all, among the other Assetex based units that are already present on the market. The availability of this CPU cooler starts as early as June with a price of 199.90 US dollars or euros. Next up, EK Waterblocks has just launched a new graphics card waterblock, this time meant for the Asus graphics cards which are part of the TUF series. This new waterblock is called EK Quantum Vector TUF RTX 3070 DRGB, which is such a long name. This waterblock is compatible with only the Asus TUF RTX 3070 graphics cards. The waterblock will handle the cooling for not only the graphics core, but also for the front-sided VRM components of the graphics cards and the memory chips. Just like the other EK waterblock products, the base plate of the Quantum Vector TUF block is made from solid nickel-plated copper. The top part of the block is made from clear acrylic and has a hidden addressable RGB LED strip installed. The EK Quantum Vector TUF RTX 3070 DRGB is priced at 174.90 US dollars or euros, with the compatible backplate, which is sold separately, mind you, priced at 42.90 US dollars or euros for the all black variant or 49.90 US dollars or euros for the nickel plated version. And finally, NZXT announced the N7 Z590 motherboard. NZXT releasing a motherboard is nothing new, and the previous motherboards were made by ECS. However, this time, the NZXT N7 Z590 is made by Acerock. So, in essence, you are buying an Acerock motherboard that has received a makeover and more than likely a price increase. The NZXT N7 Z590 has Wi-Fi 6E connectivity and a 12 plus 2 power phase design for the VRM. The motherboard also has two M.2 sockets and more than likely a removable Wi-Fi network card, although don't quote me on that. The MSRP of this motherboard is 279.99 US dollars or euros. 
And this is the end of the episode number 33 of the ASAP Tech News, one of the few Tech News series which aims to deliver you the news as fast as possible for your convenience.